Hello, this is Craig, and I'm going to show you some of the fun stuff about meshes in Unity. If you're used to Unity, this is all old hat to you, and you can enjoy me whining about something that you probably understand. If you're new to Unity, you're probably running into these same problems and are wondering how the hell to fix them. So here's the idea. I want to build ships out of ship components. I want to do it programmatically rather than dragging them on and then arranging them and then saving them. I want to be able to allow the player to drag them on and rotate them and save them and even generate them randomly. So I created a bunch of ship components and I was wondering, like this one. And I was wondering, well, when I try and move them programmatically, they don't move. What, what's going on? So I started looking into it and uh, here is what should happen. This is a cube. A cube is not an imported mesh. It's fundamental. And I've gone ahead and squashed it, and this is what it looks like. It creates one component, and the ship flies away. That's exactly what I wanted to do for debug purposes. So let's go ahead and replace the cube with a mesh. So this is the shape of the mesh I'm using to show you. So it should create it and fly away. No, it's not flying away. You can't set the position on a mesh. It doesn't work, except... Um, after about 10 seconds, it does work. Now the mesh flew away in the wrong direction because as it turns out, there's corrective, when you import, there's corrective, uh, corrective stats. So I can deal with that. What I, the, why does it wait 5, 10 seconds before flying off? W what's up with that? Well, as most of you who are used to Unity know, the answer to how you get around that, I don't know what causes it or how to get around it legitimately, but the way to get around it... Um, is to create an empty object and stick the mesh inside the empty object and then it works fine. And I'll show you what I've done ahead of time here. It's the same exact object except this time it's contained within an empty object and it's got the name without a P in it because I'm really lazy. It works fine. Problem solved. Nah, problem not solved at all. Problem very much not solved. Here's that component I was just showing you, the empty object that contains the mesh. This is the rotational widget. So, hey, I want to rotate this. Now it's rotating around the middle, that's no good. I want it to rotate around uh, the front edge here. Yeah, that's not going to work. So, let's go ahead and uh, what, I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just set the rotation to zero, and then I'll go inside, and I will move this mesh Maybe like that. That should work, right? No, fuck you. So I move the child object, and the master object still rotates the, around the child object's center? What the hell's going on? I'm rotating the master object, but the child object is off in the distance, rotating... I, I don't even know what the hell is going on here. What I do know is that uh, it behaves correctly if you combine two meshes together. So if I were to do this, and I were to do this, and I were to select them both, then they would behave as you'd expect, rotating around the point between them. But I can't get them to rotate around a specific point I make. Uh, as far as I can tell, the only way I can do that is by creating a cube, setting it to invisible, sticking it in the object at the point I want to rotate, and then it'll rotate around the midpoint between the cube and the object in question. So if I put a cube down here, like... Go ahead and... like this, and I need to move the ship so that I can see what the heck's going on, like this. So if I move the ship here, and then I add this cube to the ship, I added it to the wrong part, sorry. Add this cube to the ship, and then I set the cube to invisible. I don't need to see it. Uh, there it is. So now what happens when I rotate the ship? It rotates correctly, although that was there. It rotates more or less correctly, and I can move the cube to polish that. Why can't you tell the master object to be the center of rotation? Why can't you set the center of rotation as the Im as an import setting on the on the mesh? Why isn't there a center of rotation setting here? You'd think it would be at zero zero in the file. It's not. Um, this is not where zero zero was in the file. 
zero, 0 was right here. So why isn't it rotating around that point? Why is it rotating around what is evidently the center of the average? No, no, it's not even the average of all the, of all the vertexes. It's, it's the center of the bounding box, which is crazy because it's not even using a bounding box. So why would it do that? That makes no sense, and it's a real pain in the ass to work with. What's worse is that some meshes just totally misbehave, uh, especially if you import them, uh, you know, export them from a f from a from a specific uh, uh, program to a different file format. Fortunately, you can almost you can load the project files straight into into Unity. You don't usually need to export them. Uh, these meshes here are not exported meshes. They are in fact Blender files. They're dot blend files. I don't know how animations are going to work. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with animations. Um, it seems like it's going to be a nightmare. But I do know that meshes don't make any fucking sense. Um, and you basically have to figure out all these really silly ways to get around that. <sighs> well, at least now I've figured out most of the ways to get around it. Um, if you're just learning Unity, the key is to never use a mesh. Ever. Never use a mesh. Always use an empty object containing a mesh. And if you want to rotate the mesh, fuck you!